Okay, hi everyone. It's Tomboy Gamer XL here with part five of Let's Play Persona Four. So in the last episode, we uh got a little gaffs here and there. Turns out our good friend Yukiko is miss missing, and most likely in the TV world. So after having some gaffs with Yosuke when trying to retain some freaking weapons, we got ourselves together and we are about to go into the TV world. And I think we're gonna try and save her. Okay, so first off, big apologies for last uh, episode's horrible audio. I was using Open Broadcaster, and I was trying to fix it and actually experimenting with it to see if there was a way to record live commentary simultaneously with the game sounds, and it was, but um, I was using an improper method. So now I know what to do, and now I think I've got everything set up just perfect. So I believe now we're going to move you the Juness Food Court. Yep. We're ready. Anywho, I still can't believe Lacey had mentionables. I really can't get over that one part. And I don't even think I talked about it as much as I should have. I literally should have ranted about that for at least 20 minutes. Alright, buddies. You really stick out. I guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. I mentioned that, did I not? The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. Okay. All let's right, do this. Let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going. All right, well, we got another party member. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? Wait, do we have another party member? Does she even have a persona yet? I mean, it's not like in, like, uh, Persona 3, where everyone was getting their personas by, you know, just by having a random awakening. Like, us finding them in the midnight, in midnight, like Fuka. Oh, God, Teddy. My buddy, what did you, what's wrong? It really is that bear from last time. I wasn't joking when I told you that story. What are you doing? Hey, let me get Can glasses. I'm thinking about stuff. Huh. That looks like thinking, all right. It seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time. These puns are too great for me. <laughs> I'm literally gonna die. These puns are too hey, great. That wasn't a bad joke. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm proud of you, Teddy. Uh. No, 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 no. So, did you figure anything out? Probably not. Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. Oh god, it was! How rude! Oh no, it was just friendship. Right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. What are you thinking about? Will you guys shut up? Now is not the time for stupid jokes. He was trying to think. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? I don't know. Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? Oh wow, Yukiko is a What's liar. your name, miss? Miss? Oh, I'm Chie. But never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I don't think he knows anything. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? So you mean to tell me that as soon as we left, Yukiko got I the TV? Know. I think I that's some crap. But wait, wait, no, it couldn't be possible, because we went to sleep, and then the thing happened. Okay, now nah, I'm confused. I'm so confused. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. All right. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, like a crap ton, and I literally raided like two vending machines. Wait, Ted, come on. Give me a sec. Ted, you can't leave me behind. And yeah, I'll decide instead of calling him Teddy, I'll call him Ted. Oh God, where are we? This is the place from the TV on uh, the mid on uh, the um, midnight channel. Oh God, it looks so awful. What the? That looks awful. You think this is the place they showed on TV last night? It really does look like a low-budget TV show. <laughs> You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. I doubt it. And plus, it was Yukiko, program? right? Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. Oh God! I so then they saw Yosuke before. when we were battling the shadows. shadows. Here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. That's probably not good. From the beginning. That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? He has a point. Never seen he has a program thingy oh, before. Good so lord, his know. point was too good for me. Oh god. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? Maybe it like shows people I mean, before Yukiko they disappear. Yukiko saying stuff like score myself a hot stud. 
It's not like her at all. Well, it could be. You may not know the real Yukiko. Sure. Like those pre Stand? that like priest's daughter kind of thing. We may not know the real Yukiko. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko san would never say anything like that. I don't know her, but I'm going with the <sighs> idea that we do. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get, but after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it, or something like that. Wow. You know, Yoga, yeah, these people have more deliberative power than I ever will have. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, we can produce TV shows now? I'll do uh, that. I don't get this at all. Are you an A student? Or is it just us being stupid? Hey. Do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So we gotta go in there. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? <laughs> we'll here. tell you when you're I'm older, Ted. Wait, where are you going, girl? Hey, wait, don't go alone! She done gone. Jeez, you better follow her. I have to follow her. What do you mean? So is Ted our navigator now? Something tells me he can't be the permanent one. <sighs> she ran off on her own. Uh, there's a lot of shadows in this castle. It'll be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us any before? Come on, let's find Chie. Uh, I don't like the fact that we all are discounting her because she's a girl. I don't even, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to be a feminazi, but come on now. I think she'll be fine. We should catch up to her quick, Sensei. Ah, that's right. Take this. Revival beat. Dang, I bought all those for nothing. Oh, this too. I gathered all of these myself. I'll give them to you, Sensei. Received five randomly assorted pe- Whoa! Soul Drop. Okay, I recognize that name. Let me hit that, because if those are all... Man, I wasted so much money on those freaking tap sodas. But I'll, in, the, in the end, I'll be happy, because I have a lot of healing items, and I know I'm gonna need them. This is bad, Renma. We better hurry after Chie. Fine. It's not my fault she was too pretty, whatever the word is. I'm not, you know, in a normal way, I would never go in here. Like, literally, I would see this black and red and be like, Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. <laughs> be careful. All right, so I think this is going to be our first dungeon. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I'm not really excited. I'm actually frightened because this cannot be good. Ooh, I don't really like the music. I hope the music changes for every dungeon, because I don't really like it. So, so. But either way, it's got, it's got me hyped. She hasn't gone that far yet. Ugh, she ran off all alone. <laughs> Damn it, let's go. Um, wait a second. The shadow has gotten aggravated. The shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try to get the jump on shadows before they attack can attack you. Press X to perform an attack, try and land a hit on an enemy before it can take an issue. Alright, so first off, let's discuss how we're going to be doing these uh, dungeons. So, initially, I was thinking, record every single thing and just fast forward if I feel it's too boring. But the ultimate thing we'll be doing here is, I'll be recording this entire thing, and then in post-production, I'll be cutting out and only showing you enemies that I've recently that are new or whenever something monumental happens i'll talk through most of this stuff to help you through but honestly it'll most likely be me skipping a lot of stuff i'm gonna bring, let me bring up a sticky note so i can write down every enemy i get so i can remember who's important and who's not Ooh, got chest already so my friend also told me an interesting rumor so in persona 3 3 the reaper is one of the worst enemies you can encounter especially if you're unprepared and in Persona 4, I've heard the Reaper still appears. Oh god! Okay, there we go. Awesome. First enemy. Alright, so it's these little Halberry things. Anywho, as I was saying, um... Okay, so it's different from P3. Okay, first off, um... We discussed, uh... The Reaper appears randomly, and if you spend too much time on a floor, it will attack- it will, uh come out and start looking for you. Huh. Oh good, it's a weakness. Awesome. Anywho, but in this, in here, apparently it can be found in chests, and it's not accessible in your sink in the first playthrough. It's only accessible in the second one. And since this is a new game plus, we may encounter it a few times. Ooh, all out attack. Let's do this. 
nice. Anywho, now that I know that, I wanted to pretty much dispel it. I wanted to tell you that right now. So if we ever see like a weird treasure chest, oh, not bad. You felt the surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Ugh, oh, I know. Your hit points and spirit points. Oh, is that what they call them? I just call them HP and SP. I never really actually knew you. Alright, I'm now able to create personas of level 5. Awesome. And me, hoosies. The other thing that I was going to point out that's a difference between Persona 3 and Persona 4 is in Persona 3, as soon as you have your navigator scanned, oh, there's nothing in here, but I still want the experience. Anywho, as soon as you ha hit the um, L1 or whatever, you have it scan it, call him Pesha. It would literally almost, it would immediately give you the uh, weaknesses after you waited about two, at least two turns. I guess in here it's a bit different. Oh god, I didn't mean to hit that. Crap, crap, crap. My bad, my bad. Something tells me it's probably wind or something. And I'm... Alright, cleave it. Okay, fine. That didn't really do it. Crap! He's on free will. He's on, like, pretty much... I know it's not called free will in here, but there's, like, a commands. Like, you're spo he's supposed to be under direct commands. I was not aware. Alright, there's a way. Um, what's up? Change battle tactics. Oh, me? What should I do? You're under my direct command. Okay, gotcha. I won't be using any of the free. I won't be using the. They do what they want. Let's talk to him. Jeez, that girl. Let's hurry after her, Rima. I'm hurrying as quick as I can. Anywho, you'll find that that's really gonna be. You really would prefer to keep them all on direct command. Alright, so. Probably gonna be like this. Like for now, I'm gonna show you the whole thing. But all right, let's see Jiraiya. Awesome. Let's do this. And you'll find that I'll always do all 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 out attack, even if it's probably not even beneficial. I will use it anyway. I just love an all out attack. Anyhow. So yeah, that's pretty much an obvious, noticeable dungeon di difference. I don't know if this dun dungeons are randomized as they are in uh, Persona 3, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Anyhow, we're still on the first floor, and we are not. Alright, crap, I gotta learn how to do the camera. Because there, there was a way to do camera in here that I used to use all the time. Okay, circle is how you direct, you fix the camera automatically. Crap, okay, it's gonna take me some time, because in Persona 3, it's a lot quicker to swing my Naginata. Oh god, enemy advantage. Okay, so now we got this. We literally do got this. But I'm gonna probably try to refrain from wasting so much. Yeah, bro. Do it again. Anywho, so far I'm liking this. The dungeon's not too difficult. That's the good part. Because usually when I play this freaking- when I play P3, I hit hard mode by accident and didn't feel like going back. Oh good, you don't leveled up. And I accidentally had it on super hard and I didn't even know. So also, I don't really pay attention to stats in the game. I know that they're useful and you probably write in the comics but comments what, what exactly they do. Because I never paid much attention to stats. I know what they do, but I don't really, you know, put on accessories that boost their stats unless I feel like that stat is really problematic. Like to be a voice actor. Especially because he's one Yuri Lorenzal is one of those um Okay, here we go. Here's the cards thing. Um he's one of those voice actors who's just like good lord. Every time you hear his voice, you know it distinctly. You recall the Igor told me. Alright, let's A mysterious event may occur after defeating the enemy. Several cards will appear in front of your mind. If you draw a card with a persona on it, you will gain the persona displayed. You can switch the persona with the ones you have currently equipped. Or you can fuse it with other personas in the Velvet Room to create new, more powerful personas. Besides blank persona cards, there may be blank or penalty cards. Nothing occurs if you draw the blank card. However, if you draw the penalty card, all rewards earned from the battle you just fought will vanish. It may be difficult to draw the desired card, but due to your instability of your mind, due, uh, but due to the instability of your mind, 
but try your best. I'm certain I wear that, like, wrong twice in a row. Didn't mean to. Alright, let's try and get Pixie. Pixie was one of those very good neutral personas. I figured. Crap! Because it paused in the middle and I could not ri- Dang, that's a horrible start to that. That is a horrible start. Oh my god. I could die right now. That was so horrible. Alright, get that. So I'm being really noobish. And again, it might be because I haven't played P3 in a long time. Oh, uh, let's where, 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 where the heck is Chie? How did Chie get this far and not fight a single shadow? Did she just run by? Like, I'm literally- Oh, okay. Hmm. You're good at fighting, Sensei. Compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Dang! <laughs> Shut up, Ted! Although, so I gotta- I do gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff. I know I do. Doesn't he? Or oh, doesn't she, technically? So, you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. Oh, we just changed that to tactics, man. It ticks me off to hear Teddy say that stuff, but I don't want to cause trouble during my battle- my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate to run a mate around. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's bust through these doors. There she is! Chie Chan is in there! Open the door. Good god, no, I'm not healed. <laughs> and I did horribly. <laughs> Where's that steak skewer? Oh, that's delicious. Um, I'll take a tap soda. One, two. That's decent enough. I'm not one of those people who cares about healing fully and well, fully. So let's go. Alright, we found Chie. Let's do this. How much I want to bet we got us a boss battle. Or at least a middle boss battle. I hope it's not like crappy ones in P3. Those boss battles were boring. And so freaking annoying. This place is very well designed, but you know. I mean, it's really designed compared Chie, to- Chie, are you alright? Ooh, we got things going. Chie? You good? Chie? Hey, uh, she, she might be- She said the bed looks good on you. Huh? Is that Yukiko? Yukiko-san? Hmm. I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. Yeesh. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Oof. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Ooh. Yeah. This castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Oh god, what if Chie's, um... Yukiko? What if Chie's, um, shadow might come out? Because she's hearing Yukiko Chie and Yukiko is so important to her. My life meaningful. Oh. She's bright and strong. She can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... Oh my. Chia protects me. She looks after my worthless life. Huh. <sighs> and I I don't deserve any of it. My god, the self-loathing in this so one. so kind. The self-loathing is horrible. Yukiko, uh, I Chia is so kind, huh? What a joke. Oh boy. We got us a shadow. Wh what? Shadow. Oh, Shadow Chie, oh boy. Oh man, is that? It is. It's just like Yosuke. What summons these shadows? Do they just have to be in the TV world to get a shadow? She lost control of her suppressed self. Now it's a oh, shadow. Oh, that's how. Okay, so when they lose control of what their suppressed self. So is Yukiko self-loathing her suppressed ideas of herself? And then what is Chie's suppressed self? The fact that you can depend on her? Are we talking about that, Yukiko? That face! <laughs> she says I'm protecting her. <laughs> she says she's worthless. <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What? What are you saying? Yukiko's so good looking, so fair skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy, <laughs> man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. 
Much, much better. Oh my god. Is that really what she thinks? No, I have never thought that. These are suppressed thoughts. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna sit back and watch this. Oh, dang, of course that's not one of the choices. Come on now. My god. I know w girls are catty, and I know that some of this kind of stuff happens. People who befriend people because they feel to make themselves feel better about them about themselves to help them boost themselves but good lord Chie that's horrible dude uh we're gonna protect Chie I guess we need to protect Chie Chan right now um yeah we have to do that no don't come near me don't look at me I'm looking at you Chie yeah, calm you. down no no this isn't me it is you wait stupid don't say anything else like that <laughs> that's right I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But Yukiko, she depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. Yeesh! No, that is not how I think of her. <laughs> so you're just gonna turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. <laughs> you won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Chie, no! Chie, yes! <laughs> you're not me! You are. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ah! Holy crap. Chie! It's coming. You have to use your powers to save Chie Chan. Yeesh, look at Chie's shadow, dude. Oh my god, look at Shadow Chie. She's like on a tower of what looks like Yukiko. Oh my god, she's like a dominatrix. A dominatrix. Oh, this is horrible. This is literally, oh my god, horrible. Oh my god. Yeesh. Wow. Just sit here for five minutes and take a glance at what Shadow Chie is doing. I mean, seriously, it's a it's literally a woman-esque creature just sitting on top of a bunch of Yukikos. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure there's more to examine in this character, but I'm not. I mean, we're not gonna do that. Right now. Mm, that's a. Uh, Yeesh. Alright, so we pretty much found out that Chie's shadow, her inner thoughts, are that she feels pathetic and inadequate. And because she... Ooh, I think we got it right. I think we got it right. Nice. Oh, yes. So she feels inadequate, and because of the, and she befriended Yukiko, because Yukiko is... Oh, God. Crap! Wind resistance! Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Anywho. Cause she feels inadequate, cause she feels bad about who she is, about not being able to attract men, or pretty much succeed as a girl. She... Oh my lord. She uses Yukiko to feel better about herself because she knows Yukiko, because she knows Yukiko depends on her. And Yukiko feels bad about herself and feels like she is better than her. Don't whip me. Oh my lord, she's like a dumb matrix. Oh my god, this is horrible. What is happening here? These shadows, they're... And these are, these are honestly... I commend this game, because the shadows, what they say so far, is all realistic. People can be like this. And I think that's the scary part. Alright, we're gonna have to wait until she gets some wind resistance down. Oh, I don't like that. Don't you gaze at him. He is mine, technically. <laughs> I didn't think she had multiple things like that. Guard, guard, guard! 
Oh, good. Thank God we did that. Because I think he, I feel like Lo Yosuke is most likely weak to Zeo, as Yukari was weak to Zeo in electricity spells, because mm, wind is usually, usually wind is um, weak to Zeo. Anywho, let's go ahead and raccoon to her again. Anywho, this is a pretty easy boss battle. Maybe it's because it's so early in the game, but either way, this was merely a matter of strategy. Ooh. So far, I'm loving this game. And the fact that the dominant that the when Shadow Chie doesn't fall off of her column, she what happens is when she's hurt is they the thing she's on top of fall and tumble. I wonder if she's like the tower icon. Ah. Oh my god, does anyone else just feel, like, let me know how you feel about Shadow Chi. Uh, Alright, I don't really want to keep wasting so much stuff, so I'm going to just face an attack. Alright, Daru. Alright, this should do it. Also notice her hat looks kind of like a Kuka Clan hat. All right, something inside of us changed. Oh, that was it. Izanagi leveled up. Okay, strength increase, endurance. That's not bad, and some luck. Okay. What are we getting, Tarukaja? Uh, Jiraiya gets Sukukaja. Awesome. I don't even know what Sukukaja does, but I'm looking forward to it. And she kind of looks like an executioner. Anyone else think that? Uh. Gia, oh my. are you okay? Let's see where this goes. What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Hold on, though. I just sat down, and I just thought of something else. Um, yeah, I said that they look like Yukiko's, but then when I think back and I look at the hair, the hair is short. So it's kind of like Shadow Chie's, uh, like, her superiority complex is, like, a dominatrix supported by a bunch of weak people. So maybe that's, she thinks of herself as weak, and she's supported by, oh, my God. Not, oh, my God. Stop it, Chie. It's all right. Yeah, it's really good. It's okay. We, you're more than that thing. We all have different faces. Uh, we all have different faces, to be quite honest. Huh? Every single human you'll ever encounter. Don't care who you meet. Don't care who you know. They're all like that. He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean... Everyone has a side like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Chie. I feel really bad for her. Is that really what she just has? Yeah, I, I kind of get it now. You are me. Oh my god, her bad. A side of me I, I couldn't forgive. Oh my god. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. So that's how everyone gets their persona. What was that? It looked like a biker chick kind of thing. It would work well for her. She has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Tomoe. Not bad, Chie. Dang. I, um, well, it's true that part of me feels that way. But I, I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. We get it. Like we didn't know that already. Yeah, you wouldn't have rushed in here to save her. I mean, you may have had ulterior motives, but I think ultimately it's the fact that she's your friend. We can all believe that. Oh, God. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. Leech. You don't look okay at all. Maybe we I should go bet. back. You can use the same power we have now. Huh? Was she even awake to see us fighting? I don't think she was. Hey, what should we do? 
<sighs> Y'all want to take a break? I mean, can we take a break and then come back? I don't know. Let's let's just take a break and then we can go back. All right. I I never said I needed a break. I, I can I can still keep going. No, you can't. You don't even I don't even know how you fight. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. Mm -hmm. But Yukiko is still in here, isn't she? I, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yeah. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. When does the fog lift? So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. Wow. How did you come up with that? I wouldn't pay no attention to I'm that. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? Oh, yeah. Yosuke is smart. You mean they were killed by their other selves? Yeah. We had left you The fog here. usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. Oh, okay. But I, I can't turn back now. We've come so far. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. That's true. Uh, that's... Ooh, floors is on here, and like in Persona, in Persona 3, there's like boatloads of floors. You don't know what's I'm up ahead. Each and every one. The enemies might be even stronger. If we oh. push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? Yeah, she'll just we can't us. fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? Crap, I hit the button. <sighs> All right. I'm, I'm sorry about before. Yeah, stop running I ahead. shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. Yeah, we could have. This could have gone. Right, let's go together. I know how you feel. Let's go together next time. No worries. I don't like any of these. Where's the ice? Clean type dancer that's like, yeah, you better not do that again. <laughs> in, <laughs> in Dragon Age, I was picking those just to be funny. I'd be the douche. It's so fun. Okay, no worries, bro. All the, we're, all, we're all good here. Let's just get back. This place. No worries. This place is creepy. We're definitely gonna say you can get back home. Right? Maybe even dinner. Right. Alright, come on, Ted. We can come with. <laughs> I think. I have absolutely no idea. I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? I'm pretty good. Why does she- Oh! It's thanks to these. Oh, our glasses! Oh! Hit that! Hit that switch! That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Yeah, let's get her some. What color is she? Is she green? Get her some green glasses. Oh yeah. What's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Uh, in the real world, yes, yes it did. But in this world, I guess not. Which is good about the Persona 5 protagonist. He wears the glasses automatic, thank God. You can understand my struggles. Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were That's you? That's actually sad. <laughs> dum -ti dum I got a pair ready for chie chan too. When were you making glasses? Here you go! Was I not paying attention? All that. Whoa. What the? Well, uh, this is awesome. It, it's like the fog doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Some nice glasses. Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? When did he make them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sadden. I mean, sudden. Sadden. I love it. Huh. So that's the trick. 
I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Oh, I, I didn't know where I was hey, going. Is it I hit like a I wall like this? ten times. Faux oh, show. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> oh god. Oh sweet Jesus. What just happened? We'll have to stop here. Oh show. <laughs> but I'll be back with these I'm, puppies. I'm literally gonna I'm literally gonna post that. You out. guys better not come here without me. Got it? If I come here without you, I really think you'll be fine. Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. Why in heck not? If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Yeah, I guess so. You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise too. How would you go without me? I'm the one who's been getting it. Alright, let's save Yukiko. Nah, I don't care that much about Yukiko. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's solve the case. Don't care about that either. This will be a breeze for us. Don't know if that's true. <laughs> that moment when you can't pick any of the options because none of them work. It'd be, it should have been the fourth option. It's like, when are we going to get dinner? Oh, I would have loved that option. Fine. This will be a breeze for us. Huh, we went through that boss battle very quickly. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? Who, me? No, I, I do mind, believe me. You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Eh, <laughs> second banana. Eh, yeah, sure, why <laughs> now? That one, that is totally me. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? But my an inner anime character is telling me, leave it to me, leave it to Luigi. I had a feeling you'd say that. You know I would. Leave it to Tomboy Gamer XL. She would get the job done. Eventually. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man. Not an yeah, executive. Yeah, you've been coming up with half of this stuff. You are an ideas man. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. Mm. Teddy should call I'm the shots. I'm with Yosuke, too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Dang, yeah, I was gonna elect you as the new, as the head. You can be our mascot then, fine. You'll be mascot. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. How is his talking making you on edge? You've been unanimously appointed team leader. Mm, I don't recall even voting. None. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. These are my friends? <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Oh, would you look at that? Let me get a fool. Oh yeah, hit that fool arcana. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed with creating personas of the fool arcana. Can't wait to get my hands on those devil and death. And yeah, I kid you not, I am probably gonna be using those. And I'm gonna try and get my favorite persona, or at least my signature persona. I don't know if I'll be able to. Though. You've established this investigation team social link of the Fool Arcana. You may earn an, ex an experience bonus when using Personas of the Fool Arcana. Awesome. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Um. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. Does that mean I have to come here on my own time? After a period of rain, the town may envel be enveloped in bo by fog. Be aware of the weather when exploring. In addition, you can only explore on the week on weekdays after school or during daytime on holidays. I think what they just told me is, unlike Persona 3 where you had a definite boss battle day, I think now I have control of when we go. And honestly, it probably will be a game over if I don't go before it gets fog. It gets foggy. Okay, you decide to return to Juness and go back home. Well then. That actually went very well. Oh, did it finally. I've been talking about this since we got into dungeon. Okay, three of you are having dinner. News is on TV. What is it? That's news? all for world news tonight. Coming up next, the local news. You guys have world news? I swear we don't have that. Or at least it doesn't come on as often as it should. Hmm. What's up, dude? Dojima is quiet with a stern expression on his face. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, 
Mind if I ask something? You see me picking food for Miss Bowl? I don't have time for no questions. You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? Are you my dad? Are you my mom? Get up out my What grill, happened bruh? at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. So what you're trying to tell me is what bothers you is that I was picked up by one of your men who thought I had real weapons in my hand. You honestly, what bo should bother you is not the fact that I had fake weapons. What should bother you is the fact that your freaking squad is stupid enough not to tell the difference between a fake weapon and a real one. God, you'd be killed down here. Is there anything you're not telling me? Nothing, then you need to mind your freaking business. Of course not. That You know what? I literally would say it's nothing that you... No, there should be a number four that says none of your freaking business, bruh. And I want it quoted like that. I could... Ugh, oh, come on now. Ugh, fine, whatever. Of course not. Get out my bread. Bruh. I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Leave me alone, dude. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, 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 no. If we were fighting, these fists would be fine. No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. Ha! Thank you, Nanako. Stop him now before I get these I hands agree on to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. My mom and dad probably don't Got care. that? And now, our weather forecast. Rain? Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Awesome. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Not exactly. Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. How old is Nanako? I'm actually a little concerned. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, why don't you just explain it to you? Maybe it's just me, and maybe I wouldn't. Pre maybe I don't get the concept of preserving a kid's innocence. But I would just feel like, no, what happens is she used sophisticated, uh, you know what, I probably would stop right there and be like, do you, because my kid would probably be like, what does sophisticated mean? They'd be like, huh, we're not getting anywhere with this, are we? Go back to watching the television. Okay, the news continues heedless of the heavy atmosphere. All right. I love this song. I literally love it. Don't fight. Sorry. You asked not a couple of questions. All right. It doesn't look like we're getting like I'm a for it to fog up. It usually has to rain for like two days or at least one and a half day. So at least 36 out consecutive hours of rain. Nothing in here? What do you mean? Yeah, you did. Can I go outside? Oh, I hope they change that in P5. I get annoyed when I can't leave. So, anywho, I still want to talk about the shadows because they're so interesting. So, um, I don't know if they've put her up here. Let me see her persona. Maybe I can get it from that. All right, no. Ah, yes. Chie is part of the Chariot Arcana, and from the looks of it, she's an ice character. She can deal skewer, night damage, and attack, and then she'll have ice. So she might be a physical, uh, she might be more physical. I feel like she'll be more physical since that's the first thing she got. Anywho, interesting, right? So, Chie Satanaka. Let's assume. Now, the Chariot Arcana, especially from what I've seen, is an idea of victory and sometimes bravery. So... I'm imagining with shadows, it's the complete opposite. For example, um, with magicians, it's usually willpower, abilities, and like determination, mostly. And literally, I can insert an Undertale for him. We're not going to do that right now. So, like with Yosuke, we see that he admits that he what he really did, like everything, he's bored with country life. And for he wants to do something interesting. That's why he came out there. That's why he went to the TV. Hmm. That's a very, uh, that's an interesting perception. Crap. I think I just dropped something on the floor. My bad. Anywho, that's an, it's deter when you're bored with something and that's not bored with life, that's not determination. Ow, my freaking hand. 
Um, but with Chie, hers, the opposite of victory and bravery is like pride and to an extent envy. So that's why her character is so envious. Is her character is obviously envious of the fact that Yukiko is so much better than her. She's the standard Yamato Nadeshiko. She has black hair. Her name is, <laughs> she's black. She her has long black hair, pale skin. She has the signature, I think, brown or black eyes, most likely black. And Chie is the complete opposite in that in the lo looks department. Not only that, but Chie is seen as just one of the guys, while Yukiko is probably more or less seen as the high standard of beauty. So, uh, along with that dominatrix thing, one of the thing, the idea of conquest, which comes with the chariot, is through honest conquest, not through domination and power. So it's such an interesting ideology. It's so really interesting. Ah. I guess in the, in the fact that she makes her feel good, that she has someone who's higher than her. My God, literally sitting down and analyzing Chie is really, it's really wow. Oh my God. It'll be interesting to see her progression, because I'm feeling like most, uh, kind of, with uh, the social links in Persona 3 Portable were a little bit not weird. They were more or less, com they were more dependent on their arcana. I'm going to bet that chances are the social links may for my friends may have something to do with uh, overcoming what's the problems with their shadows. You just heard money fall on the floor. I'm not happy about that. Alright, so it's 48 minutes. I'm not sure if I want to do a two-parter. I kind of think I want to. I think I'm going to do one part he in this part here and then post another one so uh, we can do more things because we just finished a maze of battle. So we're going to end part five right here. And I'll, so I'll see you guys next time in Let's Play Persona 4, part six. This is Tomboy Gamer XL signing off. Bye.